also last night for Sebastian Fundora stopped Erickson Lubin in round number nine. And what so far in this year of boxing is has been the best most action-packed fight of the year so far if you hear any uh background noise i'm making this off the rip i'm driving so excuse the noise all right you might hear it drowned out a little bit by some of the background music but i had to touch on something um last night you know after the fights man i like to go on youtube and look through different videos see everybody's fight reactions and you know thoughts on the bout that just was over and i do this every time it's a fight i go on uh it doesn't matter who it is i just i just like to see everybody's point of view i do this all the time last night i was on 78 sports tv's channel and um this is where i heard it first i seen the comments and i don't know if you guys was up there well i know a lot of you don't follow 78 um i actually don't have a problem with 78 man i, I he said a lot of things in the past that uh that was questionable but as far as like listening to him he's a funny motherfucker man he is really real tall he's he's fucking hilarious <laughs> but no this is not about 78 man this is about something that is now becoming a thing okay um i seen comments so this is from the i saw it from the ldbc followers this is why i, I saw it first Sebastian Fundora's gloves look suspect. That is the new thing now that is going to start catching on now. You're going to start seeing a lot of channels talking about this. Um, and then today, I go on channels, I see comments. Oh, uh, man, Sebastian Fundora gloves look a little suspect. Why did he take all that? Then somebody said he only took off one glove and the left one was still on. Yo, listen, man. Let's let's not do this, bro. Let's let's not let's not start this glove gate this glove this glove gate shit again. Now I understand. You know, Erickson Lubin's face was messed up. I mean, he had a broken jaw, broken nose, and his shoulder was dislocated. But, bro, listen. Did you see? Okay, let me let me give you guys an example. Um. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna touch on something else too. I'm, I'm gonna touch on something else in a second. But let me, let me, let me, let me talk about a, uh, a certain fight that took place years ago. It was Mike Tyson and Mitch Green. I know a lot of y'all remember that. I was a little kid when that fight came on, man. He beat Mitch, Mitch Green ass in that fight. Did you see Mitch Green's face at the end of that fight? I mean, his eyes was shut. He was fucked up. He didn't look as bad as Erickson Lubin. But he was fucked up. So does that mean automatically that Mike Tyson's gloves was loaded? Could it just mean he hit just that fucking hard? Right? Or, yeah, but Rebel, everybody Mike Tyson did that too when he face ain't look like that. I mean, everybody that Sebastian Fundora face uh, punched on like that, they face ain't look like that. Why Erickson Lubin face like that? Well, it never occurred to you that First of all, Erickson Lubin has never been he's never been punched like that. He's never been beat up like that. First of all, some fighters just can't take punch they 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 can't hold up to certain shit. I'm sure Sebastian Fundora hit was hitting hard just as hard as he was in his last fight than he was when he was fighting Erickson Lubin. He didn't do that to those dudes' faces because maybe, just maybe, them dudes just ain't they face just not they just um they more durable in the face. Could that be a thing? Does that automatically mean Sebastian from Fundora's gloves was loaded? Come on, man. Let's let's not let's not do this, man. Let's not go the way of the Wilder Fury shit again, man. I, you know, let let I I understand. You know, a lot of us like Erickson Lubin. We didn't want to see his face beat up like that. But yo, this is boxing, bro. Listen, when you got on gloves, people don't realize something. When you punch somebody in the face with knuckles, I know I know it's gonna sound crazy. It's not as bad as when you punch them with gloves and wraps and shit on. The reason why, man, when you got gloves and shit, you bring in more mass. More mass is coming to your face when you got gloves and shit versus just a punch from a knuckle. It's, it's very different. I'm, I'm serious, it is. Now you ask, what hurts more, getting hit with leather 
from a glove or getting hit by a fist. I've been punched with boxing gloves. I've, I've wrapped them up four times in my entire life. I'm no pro by any means. I fought at age 17, two times, in, the, um, in Gleason's gym in Brooklyn, and then I fought uh, one time at nine and one time at 10. And it hurt. And I was a youngin. I was I was little and I was a teenager when and them punches hurt with gloves. I've been punched in the face in real fights in the street. I can tell you. For some reason, when getting hit with gloves feel worse than getting hit by a fucking knuckle. That's just, maybe it's just me. But we can't do this, man. Every time we see a boxer's face get get battered up to unrecognition in the fight, we gonna run into we gonna start we gonna run to that whole narrative that his gloves was loaded or some shit like that come on man please don't do that man that's not good man but look i find it funny though that they put this you know a lot of these other dudes they put this jacket on other dudes like when it's it seems like it's it's starting to become like a a a, 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 a almost like a racial thing because okay you got fury and wilder Second fight, they said Fury uh, gloves was loaded. Wilder was black, and they look. Lubin got beat up. He was black, and then Fondora. I don't know what race he is. And it seems like we starting. I'm seeing a pattern here. I'm seeing a pattern. Now I'm not defending nobody. And you know, I'm just saying I'm seeing the fucking pattern. And I'm like, come on, man. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Why can't a person just lose in grace, bro? Let a person lose in grace. And it's funny because the same people that's mad at Tiafimo Lopez for being delusional, y'all doing the same thing when y'all say motherfuckers got loaded gloves. Y'all doing it to me. Y'all doing the exact same thing. Because y'all being delusional. Like somebody just can't get a bad whooping. He got whooped on. He's a strong dude. He stayed there too long. A lot of, look. A lot of the opponents that fought Fundora, a lot of them was smart and they was movers. A lot of them was movers. That's probably another reason why they face didn't look like that. Because they were they wasn't standing there trading. You can't blame Sebastian Fundora for that. Blame Erickson Lubin for not having the IQ and for not moving around and not listening to his corner. You can't come on, dude. Let's not let's not do that, bro. Let's not do that. I understand you look. Everybody's entitled to their opinion But we can't put that jacket on somebody If we don't got no facts bro I said the same thing when it came to that glove gate shit With Tyson Fury Like everybody's opinion is different And viewpoints Everybody blaming Mark Breland to my, He spiked the water Did y'all see him spike water What logical fucking reason Will he have to spike Ty, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder's water What is Mark Breland getting from that shit By doing that and I made a rant months ago, like last year or something like that. A rant video talking about that. All right? Sebastian Fundora, who's just a better man in the ring, he beat he beat Erickson Lubin down as, as bad as as much as I didn't want to see that happen to Erickson Lubin. I'm sure a lot of us didn't want to see his face like that. But that was a good old-fashioned beatdown. And until um, somebody proves otherwise... And it comes out, they're talking about, they found out he had loaded gloves or, or, or whatever. Until that happens, I'm going to believe Sebastian Fondor whooped his ass fair and fucking square. That's it. Leave it there, bro. That shit bad for boxing. Leave it there, bro. Please. That's all I really got to say about that, man. Yo, this is Rebel Like Boxing. Like, subscribe, support the channel for more raw content. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. I'm off this. Peace.